Hello everybody, welcome to the Pandemic Cooking Channel, um, where supplies are short, so I'm putting stuff together ad lib. Uh, tonight I'm cooking a lovely quick dinner for my girlfriend. Uh, most of the fancy restaurants will call it El Forno, it's baked, it's nothing fancy, and I'm going to show you why. Uh, we're going to sear off, well first, I have some lovely smoked sausages. PC brand, available at Loblaws. Got to plug uh, lovely Galen. He's doing an excellent job during this <laughs> pandemic time. Um, so we're going to heat this pan up a little bit. A little bit of oil. Just so the sausages slide around a little nicer. So what we're going to do is we're going to sear those off. We're going to combine that with some lovely pasta. That's almost done. I put it on a couple of minutes ago. Doesn't take long. Some penny pasta. I'm going to plug a tomato sauce since it's hard to get fresh vegetables and stuff right now. Ragu. Good old classic Italian tomato sauce. Plain, nice and easy on the palate. I'm going to combine this with a little bit of cream. We're going to do a rosé. Throw in a little bit of mozzarella into the oven. All done. So once these start to sear, we're going to give them a nice little brown on both sides, set it off to the side, put in the pasta, the sauce, the cream, heat it all up, throw in some mozzarella, into the oven we go. So as you can probably start to hear, it's just starting to sizzle now over the bubbling water. Nice and easy smoked sausage, rosé sauce, baked in the oven. Fancy places call it El Forno. El Forno. Depends on where you're from. So we're just going to sauté these off quick. Okay, and I'm not sure if everybody knows, but you'll notice a wooden spoon over the pot I'm boiling the pasta in. It's a little trick. If you put a wooden spoon over the pot, it will not boil over and create a mess. It will create a mess if you forget about the pasta and keep it boiling because the water will evaporate. And being in the business for so long, I've actually seen people do it. I've done it, heck. So, the smoked sausages are at a good point right now. I'm going to frustrate the camera person by offering them a lovely piece of smoked sausage. How's the smoked sausage? Mum, 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 mum. <laughs> it looks good. It's awesome. So, I said we're going to do a rosé. It's going to be nice and simple. I'm just going to pour the tomato sauce in with the sausage. I'm going to run a little bit of water, shake it around, because it will evaporate or reduce. Then, nice and easy, I pour in a little bit of cream. There's your rosé rose sauce. Blush. So we'll just mix that around. But something you can do to make it a little bit less fat would be to drain the uh, juice that has come out of the lovely sausages from searing them off, but when you take away that, you take away a lot of the flavor, and I mean, it's a little grease. Not too much. It tastes so good. Pasta's almost done. So now all we have to do is add a little bit of mozzarella. Once the sauce heats up, which will be very soon, you'll see the little bubbles starting to come through. A 
All right, our penne is done. We'll turn that off. Oh, look, the sauce has started to bubble. And I mean, in a pinch, the ragu, it's not a bad sauce. I like it. It has, a, actually, believe it or not, a lot less salt than a lot of its competitors. It's another reason why I like it. It doesn't taste like salt. Let's see, what does it say here? For half cup. 510 milligrams. Not much at all. Compared to a lot of the other sauces. So this is just starting to steam now. Our lovely pasta is ready. Stir this around just a wee bit. You know, it's important to coat all of the pasta with the sauce. Don't be a lazy chef. Don't be that guy where half of it doesn't have any sauce in it. Put a little love into it. Alright, starting to steam. What I'm going to do now is just put a lit, a little bit of mozzarella. I'm going to mix this up nice and quick. Oh, you know what, a little bit more mozzarella. Made from partly skimmed milk anyway, so we need double the amount. What we're going to do is we're going to transfer it into a glass baking dish. We're going to put some more mozzarella on top. We're going to bake it for about 20 minutes and we will be all done. Now last stage, I've set my oven to a little bit under 400 because for some reason it cooks a little hotter, so I want it around 425. So, most ovens it'll be around 425. Don't be afraid to use lots of mozzarella here. I mean, with stuff in the news, it's like we're in lockdown. And apparently, They've released footage of aliens. Like, what's June going to be like? We'll see. It'll be a lot more interesting. Once this stuff is all over and we can go out again and get fresh tomatoes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this into the oven for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Okay, we're back. So we've just taken this lovely pasta, the Al Forno, out of the oven. I'm about to serve my girlfriend. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, very nice. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's not going to go into the bowl that way, but... Ooh. Oh, my. Lovely smoked sausages. And there you go, hun. Mm. 